Today I'm going to be doing a power steering fluid flush and change. Um, basically we're going to do this is we're going to um, siphon out, well not really going to siphon it out, but we're going to take out the fluid uh, with the motor on, replace it as we're going. Um, important things to know are that you can't let the fluid uh, be empty at any time or you'll get air in the system and that's not good. Also, it doesn't use normal power steering fluid. It uses automatic transmission fluid. Um, I'll be using Mercon 5. Uh, anything that works for these, this transmission is okay to use in this motor. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by go ahead and taking off the air filter over here um, just to give us some room and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing we gotta do is you gotta get this return line off. That's this one right here with this little clip. Um, we're gonna take a pair of pliers, take this clip off, and pull that hose off. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of tubing, um, 3 8 three eighths inch inner diameter tubing, and go ahead and slide it right on over this little fitting. Now, if you use clear tubing, it makes this process a lot easier, um, but I don't have any, so I'm using what I have. Today, what I'm using is I'm using this Castrol Mercon 5 uh, transmission fluid. Uh, it's not synthetic. Um, I probably should go with synthetic, but this is what I have. Um, synthetic would be a better option. Synthetic's always a better option, but for today, this is what we're, we're going to use. We've got four quarts of it. It should be, should be enough to, uh, to flush the system. And uh, this is what you need right here. So as I've told you, I'm using what I have. And what I have is not clear, not long, 3 8 inner diameter tubing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've, I've rotated this upwards, so it's, it's kind of dangling right here. And then where this is supposed to go is going to be a some kind of bucket or reservoir that I'm going to find. And because I've got a short tube, that's where it's going to go. And that's where it's going to collect. But the engine does have to be on, so I want the filter on, so this is where it's going to be. Found myself a nice size bucket, much bigger than what I need, but... It, uh, it's the right size, it'll do the job, and it fits right where that filter used to be. I'm just going to place this right in here. That's a perfect fit. Drop this hose right in there like that. And what you're going to need to do is it can be important to watch the color of the fluid coming out of here. That's why I want to be able to see it. Now, before you get too excited, um, there's a few things you got to do first. Put a funnel in the power steering uh, fluid reservoir, which is down here by the uh, intercooler pipes, the water pump, blow the alternator, all that fun stuff. It's right here. Um, take your little cap off. Looks like this. Uh, go ahead and take that off. Put a filter in, or a funnel in. And um, you have to keep that full at all times. Um, if you don't, air will get in the system. Blah, blah, blah. Not good stuff. Um, now what you're going to do is we're going to turn the engine on. Um, it's a lot easier to do this with two people. Uh, I don't have two people today, so we're doing this the hard way. Um, in best of circumstances, the truck will be lifted on the front, off the ground, um, so you can use the steering wheel and the brakes. Um, but what I'm, I'm just doing is I'm just using the brakes because I can't lift it off the ground and do all this by myself, yada yada. Um, so we're just going to do the brakes and uh, we're going to go ahead and start the engine now. So what I've got to keep doing 
is I have to keep coming back and checking the level in this uh, this catch catch bucket I have and also checking the level in the reservoir making sure I'm not letting it get too low so I'm just going back and forth moving the steering wheel and the brakes until uh, until I need to add some more uh, transmission fluid uh, what we're looking at you can see it's a, it's kind of dark but um, it, it, it's it looks kind of like new motor oil than transmission fluid Okay, so we've been replacing, we've been draining and replacing fluid. Almost got a cord in, um, and which you can you can look, and it, it, it's it looks kind of like tomato juice now. It, it's not so much doesn't look so much like motor oil now as tomato juice. So we're getting somewhere. Um, this is where it comes in handy to have uh, clear tubing, because you can see the color. As you can when it's in a bucket like this, you can't. I mean, it looks like diesel motor oil in the bucket. Um, you can't really tell what color it is. So that's why it's kind of nice to have clear tubing. So I'm just going to keep checking and uh, we'll keep going. One port. Two quarts. Oh, much better, much better. Three quarts. Okay, so we just did three quarts. Um, it's between three and four, how many you need to put in. So I'm gonna check. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I've got a fourth quart. Um, I'm gonna put it in because I can. Um, better safe than sorry. I mean, it doesn't really affect anything, but um, I mean, it's not, it's not as red as, as it could be. Actually, that was pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and put some of it in and see what happens. You know what? The brake pedal feels really good, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the fourth port just to top this off, and I'm going to call it good. Perfect. Well, there we have it. Um, that this bucket looks pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, most of that's red. It's pretty red. Um, so I feel feel good that we got all the old stuff out. Um, I'm just gonna reverse what we did. Okay, well as I found out, which I should have known, when you take the, uh, the hose that you had right here for the drain hose, um, obviously, I should have known, um, it will spray ATF everywhere. Um, so just be mindful of that, there's nothing really you can do about it, just be prepared. Maybe you can put some towels down. Um, it made a mess, but there's nothing down there too sensitive. There's a bunch of connectors. Um, if you're super paranoid, WD-40 everything, but uh, you should be good. So I'm going to hook this... Um, this factory one back up doesn't really want to go but it was a pain to get off anyway so I'm gonna hook this one back up and put everything back to the way it was <clears throat> okay and uh, we're gonna clean this up
right, so I just want to do a little conclusion here. Now that I've got the, uh, the fluid changed, brakes are much stiffer, much, much better. Ooh, that was nice. Pedal feels good. It's not spongy. My steering is quieted quite a bit. It's still a little noisy, but not nearly as bad as it used to be. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased. I love how the brakes feel now. They're much more responsive. So uh, I'm going to go uh, go get something to drink, maybe a donut or something. And uh, I'm going to have a good rest of the day.